Hello friends, uh, the next topic is pigeon hole principle, okay. This principle is also applicable in mathematics, in discrete mathematics which states that, that if we have n pigeons, small n pigeons which fly into m pigeons hole where n is less than m then at least one hole pigeon hole must contain two or more pigeons. This means that if we have uh, if we have two pigeons okay and then uh, or we can say if we have three pigeons and if we have two pigeon holes where these are n and this is m where n is greater than m then if we have to place these pigeons on this pigeon hole then at least one of these two pigeon contain one two or more pigeons okay so this is applicable in discrete mathematics but this principle is also applicable in automata theory so how in automata theory pigeons are the strings of a's number of a's and the pigeon hole are the states and the correspondence associated each string with the state to which a goes when the string is input okay so we will explain it or we will discuss is discuss it with the help of an example but this principle mainly used in automata theory to prove that that certain infinite language are not regular okay so this prison hole principle the concept of prison hole principle in automata theory is used to prove that that the certain infinite language are not regular so we will explain with the help of an example that how prison hole principle is used in automata theory suppose we have a dfa uh, with the four states q1 q2 q3 q4 in which q1 is the initial state and q4 is the final state now in case of string length if we take a string a if we take a string a or a a or a a b in all these case no state is repeated no state is repeated but if we take the string as a a b b or b b a a or a b b a b b or a b b a b b a b b or infinite in all these cases all these cases a state has to be repeated a state is repeated this means that if string w has length is greater than or equal to 4 for this particular example then the transition of string w are more than the state of dfa means then the transition of string w are more than the state of dfa so thus a state must be repeated so in general for any dfa which have a string w has length greater than or equal to number of states so a state q must be repeated a state q must be repeated in the walk of in the walk of w so this is how pigeonhole principle is used in case of automata theory okay so in order to use this type of argument in a variety of situations we usually take it as a general theorem which is called as pumping lemma we will discuss in my next video so keep watching my video and if you have any query then you can ask in our comment section or you can send your query to our business email id that is itechnicallearning at the red gmail.com. Thank you so much.